So the Prophet of Allah, he comes, he goes to where Abu Dhar was, and he grabs Abu Dhar by his, he grabs Abu Dhar. Talk about bridging up, this right now was bridging up. And he grabs Abu Dhar and shakes him and says, Abu Dhar, you are a man that still has jahiliyyah in his heart. So what did Abu Dhar do? That little Agdai, that, is that what he said? Eid al Quran, that's not what I said. Waha Allah, Wallahi, I didn't mean it like that, bro. See, let me tell you the difference between a man and a so called man. A real man is a man when he, when he acknowledges that he really was in the wrong, he admits that he's in the wrong. So Abu Dhar lowers his head. He understands that he hurt his brother. He understands he upset his prophet. So how did he deal with the situation? Did he stop praying at that masjid so that I don't see Bilal? Because that's how we deal with our issues, isn't it? Did he? Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, after acknowledging that he's in the wrong, he picks himself up. He goes into the streets of Medina looking for Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Then when he sees and he finds Bilal, he goes to Bilal publicly, leave this with me, publicly in front of everyone. He goes to Bilal in front of everyone and gets down on the floor and says to Bilal, Ya Bilal, by Allah, I will not lift my head off the floor until you step on it with your foot and let it be known right here, right now in Medina, which one of us today is the honored and which one of us today, Ya Bilal, is the dishonored one.